Welcome to Summit Arena, Hot Springs, Arkansas. The Spa City is where we are at. And welcome to the McDonald's Class 7A State Boys Championship Finals game right here in Hot Springs. And uh, wow, what a matchup we've got today. And joining me once again for this broadcast is a guy who's seen some uh, matchups between rivals in his time and, and certainly has enjoyed those. And now he has the opportunity to, to join us here courtside for these broadcasts. And, Talking about legendary Arkansas Razorback Pat Bradley, who joins us courtside. Pat, once again, we have got a great game here today, and welcome. Well, I appreciate it. No other place I'd rather be on a beautiful Saturday morning right here looking at these two teams. And again, you know, I, I guess we just got to set the stage one more time because we've been here for some epic state final games. But when you come out here, you talk about the best, probably the best teams in the state right now. Uh, two Titans clashing and um, there's no better feeling than starting the morning getting ready to go with these two teams right here. Well Catholic of course a bit of a surprise to be here in the finals it's it, it's not because they're not a great basketball team they are it's just that they as the season started and you looked at the 7A Central you didn't expect to see Catholic be here uh, it, it, the way that the brackets would have uh, played out but the big upset of course over Fayetteville is what set them here and uh, the interesting thing today will be is if they can take that momentum and uh, turn it into a the first state title for Little Rock Catholic High School. And on the other side of the bracket, of course, was Conway. And uh, Conway had the opportunity to play the state tournament in their own building, in their own house. They've had those friendly confines. Now they bring their fans here to Hot Springs. But Conway is a team that, again, I don't want to say a total surprise, but they are maybe a little bit of a surprise to be in this position. But when you put these two teams up together, one thing that's not going to be a surprise is the intensity of action. Well, there's no chance. He talked about Catholic, I think, 73 years. Catholic has been established without a state championship, and they've been able to overcome Joe Klein, who was helping them out last year as a volunteer assistant. They've been able to overcome him from last year and get here to the state championship. <laughs> oh, I know that's a personal little uh, rub in there. Jab, Maybe a just a little jab, boom, a little boom. Bit, yeah. But it's a great, great matchup. Job. We're looking forward to bringing it to you here on My Town TV and across the state of Arkansas here on our network. And we look forward to tip off. And it's just a few moments away. We'll have the player introductions coming up after this. You're watching the McDonald's High School Basketball Finals brought to you in part by Land of Frost, celebrating 50 years of providing premium specialty meats. J.R. Runyon and Pat Bradley courtside. We'll be back with the starting lineups right after this on KTWN My Town TV. Hello, I'm David Stokes president of the Central Arkansas McDonald's Co-op. On behalf of all the McDonald's restaurants in the state of Arkansas, I'd like to welcome you to the McDonald's High School State Basketball Championships. The McDonald's is a strong supporter of high school sports and athletics, and we encourage all of our youth to incorporate physical activity into their everyday lives. Congratulations to the teams that have made it to the championship games. McDonald's is committed to supporting student athletes both on and off the court. Enjoy the games. Ladies and gentlemen, this game features the Class 7A boys finalists. The home team for today's game will be the Little Rock Catholic Rockets, coached by Tim Inside, with a record of 19 wins and 8 losses. The visiting team will be the Conway Wolfers Cats, coached by James Bates, with a record of 19 wins and 10 losses. And now, introducing the starting lineup for the two teams. For Conway, starting at four, the six foot four sophomore, number five, Preston Purifoy. For Catholic, starting at guard, a six foot one senior, number two, Nick Bender. For Conway, Starting at guard, a six-foot senior, number 14, Amon Martin. For Catholic, starting at guard, a six-foot senior, number 22, Garrett Quinn. For Conway. Starting at four, a six foot four senior, number 15, Austin Mitchell.
Fort Catholic. Starting at four to six foot five junior, number 40, Michael Drake. For Conway, starting at guard, a six-foot sophomore, number 32, Keon McNeil. For Catholic, starting at board, a six-foot-three senior, number 43, John Yukotake. And for Conway. Starting at the center position at six foot eight junior, number 34, Terry Tidwell. And for Catholic, starting at the post position at six foot two sophomore, number 44, Garrett Ekman. Well, there you go, the starting lineups for Little Rock Catholic High School and Conway High School. The Wampus Cats and the Rockets are rocking here at Summit Arena. Both teams bringing a solid fan base to this basketball game, Pat. And Jerry, you touched on it, 19 and 10 for the Wampus Cats from Conway. And then you look on the other side, Catholic, 18 and 9. So a couple of teams that, you know, when you start off the season, maybe you don't see these two teams in this situation, in this game, but obviously done a great job to get where they are right now. Well, the two coaches, they saw them here. Yeah, exactly. And, and right. they got them here. Sure. And, and you know, when you, you talk to your senior leadership and you'll be, you'll be saying, guys, this is what we set out to do three years ago. This is what we've yep. set out to do this year. And they are here. And that's what it's all about. Now, they've got some size, these two teams do. Terry Tidwell, a 6'8", junior for Conway. And he'll go up against the 6'3", senior for Little Rock Catholic, John Yukatake. Yukatake. How about Catholic going for their first state championship in, what, 70 years? Catholic gets the first possession off the glass for two. Drake gets the points. It's a 2 nothing lead, just right like that. Catholic on top. Now, Catholic won both matchups against Conway in the regular season. They both, of course, come out of the 7A Central. But Conway playing excellent basketball down the stretch. And it always helps to have that state tournament in your house. And we'll see if they can keep that momentum here as it moves to Hot Springs. The three-pointer is up, no good. Rebound, cleared away by Catholic. Your boys on the miss. Bender works it around, left side here to Drake. Drake looks at the lane and kicks it back out to Yukatake. Now Ekman back up top again it comes to Bender. They'll move it around. Be patient, look for the open three, and it's there, but the shot's off the mark. Short on the iron, and ball comes away. Conway brings it back the other way. The kick out for three, no good. Rebound this time cleared away by Purifoy. He'll reset it. Reset it quickly as he pushes it out front, and a charge going to be charged. A charge going to be charged. And a great call by former Razorback Ernie Murray. One of our fine officials fine, here today. One of our fine officials. Played with uh, Todd Day back in the early 90s. No wonder he's got that kind of look in his eyes. That's right. Down inside, now back outside. Catholic with the 2 nothing lead, looking to add to it with the three. They'll let him know about the air ball there with the fans. The deal brings it up the floor. Neal now will run the offense for the Wampus Cats. Spinning around the perimeter. You know, Conway. Catholic obviously is, is uh, run. We had a, a chance to talk to uh, Quinn, Garrett Quinn, I believe, from uh, Catholic yesterday, uh, talking about some senior leadership. And